welcome to Inside Alausa. My name is Nima Kaleshila. This is the program that tells you everything about the current administration. From Mr. Babajide Olishola Songwolo to his deputy governor, Dr. Bafemi Amzat, and every other one uh, that is attached to this administration. And not just only the governor and deputy governor, we also have the permanent secretary of every ministry because we are, we are here to get the names of commissioners that is going to help run the cabinet exactly. and also the head of service, Mr. Akim Mwokan. Everybody is involved in make, making sure that we achieve for a greater Lagos. Definitely. So Lagos has assured residents of access to high quality affordable houses in a bid to reduce defective, deficit, in, deficit in the housing need of Lagosians. The Lagos state government has assured residents of its commitment to ensuring easy access to high quality and affordable houses. The permanent secretary in the Ministry of Housing, Mr. Wasim Akewushala, made this known while conducting a site inspection of Lagos HOMS in Gondo Garden in Ali Moshaw area of Lagos. He said that the state governor is determined to continuously pursue a housing policy that makes the sense at home available to all residents irrespective of their social economic status. Definitely that these houses are going to be just affordable to everybody, no matter your, like she said, no matter your social status, whether you are the middle, lower, or upper class. We need everybody to be, have the access to get these houses. Any one of their children is going to be about 409 houses within 41 blocks in the God of God. And it's not going to happen only in the God, it's still going to move to other districts in Lagos, but up from Ali Moshaw to other places like people who do and Lagos and so just keep your finger crossed for you to get other things. And also in Lagos, the Lagos it has urged developers to follow laid down building construction rules. The Lagos State Government has urged all stakeholders in building environment to follow standard steps and procedures in construction of buildings in Lagos State. A, a release signed by Permanent Secretary, Minister of Fiscal Planning and Urban Development, Archbishop Fulusho Dikbe, emphasized that developers must adhere strictly to lay down procedure and incorporate the habit of building rights in order to prevent building collapse. That means every developers must have what they call a standard in order for them to make sure that they are going to build as that are not going to collapse after some time, but what a long time building plan. Right, that's all we have for you for the program this morning. Please also like, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages at the Black TV Lagos. Drop your comment and do ensure you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye for now. Bye.